Ooh, look at those tacos. Look at that. Look at that fresh. Oh my God, the green sauce is hot too. I wasn't ready for that. It's hotter than the red sauce. Up guys, gotta do some laundry. But what I just figured out is there's a cool Mexican restaurant right around the way, so I'll be right back. Y'all wanna come and see what it looked like? Let me take y'all with me. Hola, hablo inglés? Poquito. Oh, okay. Um, yo hablo un poquito español. Okay. So. <laughs> ¿Tienes uh, elote? Elote, no. No, no. Okay. Es lingua es... Esta, yeah. uh, Sí. Uh, horchata. Horchata? Sí. Okay. Uh, es todo. Hola, ¿qué pasa amigos? Yo hablo español por todo el video. I don't know how to speak Spanish that good. I did order this all in Spanish though. I was I, I can speak Spanish a little bit better than that, but I get nervous when I'm about to use it. You know what I'm saying? Because you're like, is that the word for that? That whole time in my head, I'm like second guessing. I'm like, am I am I saying that right? So I just I just stop while I'm ahead. Well, I'm gonna start taking you guys to all these little uh, in the cut taco spots we got. These little taco trucks we got hidden around. We're like in the south. It's like kind of a rural area, so um, it's not like straight on the sidewalk or something like in the city or something. We got some of those uptown. Ooh, look at those tacos. Look at that. Look at that fresh produce. Oh my God, that's crazy. This is as authentic as it gets. Nobody there spoke English. If, if somebody where you're getting tacos speaks English, it's not, it's not authentic enough. Unless the person speaking English is like 12, then you can still eat there. Now, lingua, from what I understand, it means tongue. So I figure, I'd always heard all Mexican, Mexican homies talking about they eat beef tongue. So I figured, why not? When in Rome, when in Mexico, do as the Mexicans do. And I also got horchata. They were like, we got Pepsi and Coke. I'm like, nah, 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 nah. Give me the most authentic shit you got in here. He was like, well, I got horchata. I was like, put me on, son. So he put me on. I tried this one time before and I didn't like it really. So I figured I'd run it back one more time because it might not have been, it just might not have been that place. Let me try it. Now, from what I understand, this is rice milk with cinnamon and ice. Ooh. <laughs> this is a little bit boring. My man's was heavy handed with that cinnamon. That, oof, let me get another sip of that. Oh my God. Now, as you can see, we got a assortment of fresh goodies right here. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to eat these. Pretty sure this is some kind of fire salsa. This is some kind of guac salsa. And you know, you got the limes. You gotta hit the limes on there. And then we got some cucumbers and radish. I'm not sure what the radish is for. We're gonna go, we're gonna save the lingua for last because that's the one I, I, I've never had lingua tacos before. So first off, we got the chorizo taco with hella cilantro. My man's was heavy handed with the cilantro. Then we gonna hit it up with some of this. Get that nice little spicy flavor on there. While that is hot. Okay. Whew. That's a spicy sauce. And chorizo is a uh, sausage for anybody who doesn't know. A little sip of chato. We vibing right now. Next we got the tacos de pollo, tried and true, you already know chicken taco 
Or is it just tacos pollo? I don't know. Chicken tacos, not tacos and chicken. I don't know. There's an extra word in there or something. I don't know. I'm working on it. All right. I'm going to get better at this. I'm going to be fluent in another language. I always wanted to be fluent in another language. People who are fluent in two languages always astound me. Like, that's just so much cognitive ability in one head. That's just awesome. You just got two languages bubbling around in your head. I'm going to go for Spanish. It's more, you know, applicable where I live in the States. All right. Hit it with some of this guac sauce or whatever this is. Oh my God, the green sauce is hot too. I wasn't ready for that. It's hotter than the red sauce. Oh, we're gonna have to pause. Oh my God. Woo. Oh. Oh my God. Woo. Ah. Woo. <clears throat> I was not prepared for that. Are you slick son of a Now we're gonna try the lingua taco. I heard good things. That's an interesting texture. A little bit chewy. It tastes more like normal beef than I thought it would. Hmm. That's not bad. Hmm. I like that one. I think that might be the hottest thing I ever had in my life. <laughs> oh my God, and I have some spicy things in my life. That, that must have been what he asked that I want, but I didn't understand what he said, but I just rolled with it. He's like, tu quieres something. I don't know what he said. I have to sign a waiver for that stuff. God. <clears throat> Wasn't that bad though. The aftertaste is pretty good. Hmm. But overall, this restaurant, I give a 8 out of 10. It's pretty good. Not the best place I've ever been to, but definitely. Really good presentation. Nice, fresh veggies. That lingua is pretty good, though. All right. So these are on point. Chicken on point, as always. You can't go wrong with chicken. But overall, 8 out of 10. Lingua, better than I thought. If you ever see lingua on a menu at a Mexican restaurant, try it. If they offer it to you, they're not capping. It is actually pretty good. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. <clears throat> really enjoyed this little spot. Uh, I'm gonna leave the name of it. Uh, I'll show the name of it somewhere. I'll type it in um, just so I can give them a little bit of shine. I got nobody watching these videos, but like the video if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you F with my overall vibe. Appreciate you guys for stopping by and um, peace.